speaking about women, I was talking with uh, one of other podcast guests about this, and it's amazing how technology nowadays uh, has really opened up opportunities that way overcome the physical strength issue. And I, I have this story where I was doing some consulting work at one of the big semiconductor companies, and I was in the fab floor just doing what I was doing. And these two women, they were probably 120 pounds soaking wet. They were pulling huge hot wire through this conduit. And I, all I saw was the, I saw both of them walking around in there, but I saw the, one of the women feeding the, the, uh, the wire in and, you know, back in the day that required, you know, four guys and two gorillas to pull that you soaked up and everything to get that wire through the hole. Right. So I'm like, I'm curious about this. Cause I knew it was just the two of them working that job. So I go wait, you know, a couple hundred feet away, other pot, other, you know, side of the fab. And, I only saw the other woman with, they had a, uh, I think it was a Milwaukee, it was a, it was a motorized pull tape. It had that ni heavy nylon stuff, gorilla tape, whatever it was. So these two women were doing work that would normally take four or five guys to do, uh, and probably a bunch of busted knuckles and, you know, some swearing to get that through the, through the pipe. And, that was that, you know, for me, that was like an aha moment. Uh, you, you, you know, the technology we have now in the service trades makes it possible for people to do that kind of stuff. And the other story I've got, same, same semiconductor company is automation controls. These plants are all run by computers. It's all done by, you know, automation, which, you know, and, and I walked in there first day and looking around and there was probably 12 people in the automation department. And uh, seven of them were women, right? And I'm asking around, and, and uh, out of the seven, about only three had college education, they had college degrees. The rest of them went to uh, tech schools to, uh, usually by the man, by the control manufacturer, Alan Bradley, or you know whoever, to uh, learn that stuff. So there's just there's huge opportunities out there because everybody automatically thinks, oh, an electrician, oh, you know, you got to be climbing greasy telephone poles and, you know, roll around the dirt. It's totally changed. <laughs> it has. And, and, you know, shame on us as an industry for, for not recognizing half of the population. You know, we talk about it all the time, skilled trades being in short supply, people to work. We don't have enough people. Well, we excluded half of them for all of our lives. So, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time to catch up. Um, I just had a young lady, uh, Ruth Gill, on our podcast on the Straight Eye Crumpton. Plug, plug, plug. Um, yeah, thank you, sir. Um, Ruth is a she does VRV VRF work on refrigerate on, on air conditioning uh, in uh, in Ireland, and um, you know she's like the top of the game over there. These these guys are calling Ruth like, "Hey, I'm stuck," and she's like, "Well, you know," and, and I love her accent. She she's just so cool, but. Um, you know, we've, we've had a lot of women uh, on the podcast just because I'm a huge promoter. And the company that, that I talk about that my wife and I own, it was operated by women. You know, our VP of operations was female. Our sales team were female. And, you know, it, you can educate people regardless of their gender on what we're doing. And um, I think we're, we're really starting to see that corner turn. Um, our company, Service Logic, we have began a uh, women in HVAC group. Uh, got about, I think uh, we have 300 and something women now that work at Service Logic uh, proper across the country. So we're trying to increase those numbers, but uh, we're getting there. You know, it just takes a while. But yeah, I, I think to your point, Martin, the technology, you know, you saw the Milwaukee power tape puller or whatever you call it. Uh, that's a long way from people hooking up a, a rope to a pickup truck bumper and pulling, you know. So, and and I, I've seen that more than one time. Um, so we're we're coming along. We're like the Neanderthal. We just stepped out of the opening of the cave. We're just now looking up. Like for the first time, we're seeing the sun. We're like, oh, there's life out here. So that's kind of where I see our industry. It's like we're coming out of the shadows. Our knuckles are rolling up a little bit so they don't drag on the ground, and we're getting. <laughs> 